Welcome to the Autel Training Academy. I'm John Amato. Today I'm going to demonstrate how to perform a zero point calibration and sensitivity check on the occupancy seat sensor on this 2015 Toyota RAV4. The occupancy sensor is a component of the occupancy classification system. This system that became standard on vehicles around year 2006, it's designed to monitor conditions related to the passenger seat occupant. In addition to evaluating the weight of the person sitting in the front passenger seat, this system can detect if the seat belt is buckled and also determine if a child safety seat is fitted to that seat. The goal of this system is safety. All this information, if someone's in the passenger seat, if a safety seat is present, and the passenger's size and weight, go to inform the ECU to activate or not to activate the airbag if the vehicle is involved in a collision. Dual stage airbags can deploy at full speed, partial speed, or not at all, depending on the characteristics of the occupant and the severity of the collision. Today we're going to focus on the occupancy seat sensor just located under the passenger seat. Zero point calibration and sensor sensitivity check is a commonly performed procedure and Autel makes it really easy with step-by-step -step instructions. We're going to use one of Autel's latest tablets, the Maxisys MS909. But any of Autel's Maxisys tablets can perform this procedure. The when of performing a zero point calibration and a sensitivity check will depend on not only the vehicle make, but also the model and year of the vehicle. Make sure you always check the service manual to see what the recommendations are for the car you're working on. But certainly the calibration and sensitivity check should be performed when the seat and or the sensor is replaced, and also if the vehicle was involved in a collision. Specific codes relevant to the Supplemental Restraint System, or SRS airbags, may also direct that this procedure be performed. So let's get started. We've already connected to the VCI, and the vehicle is communicating with it and paired with the tablet. We're going to jump right into the special function and perform the calibration and sensitivity check. Let's tap Diagnostics. And from the Vehicle Identification menu, we select Auto Detect. This function will work on 2007 and newer vehicles. The tablet will automatically read the VIN and ID the vehicle. The tablet has auto ID'd the vehicle as a 2015 Toyota RAV4. Now it's asking me if it's equipped with or without a smart key. In this case, it's without. Let's tap OK. The main menu displays. Tap Control Unit. Tap Occupancy Detection. The tablet displays the message that the ECU controls the sensor's functions. We tap OK just to confirm that we understand this. From this function menu, we tap Special Function. Next, we choose Zero Point Calibration and Sensitivity Check. And the tablet displays the following message. Use this function after replacing the Occupancy Detection ECU or replacing the passenger seat or changing out the sensor itself. But as we mentioned before, it's always best practice to consult the vehicle service manual to figure out when the OEM recommends this procedure be done. Now the tablet will display a series of instructions to ensure that the vehicle and the passenger seat condition matches the correct criteria to perform the zero point calibration. I can't overstate how important it is to actively read and understand each of the criteria to ensure they're being met. The sensor simply will not calibrate correctly if these steps aren't taken. So please read the instructions carefully and ensure the criteria is met. Our ignition must be on with the engine not running. There should be no person or weight on the passenger seat. And the vehicle itself is on a level surface. Once confirmed, we'll tap next. The next screen relates to the position of the seat supports and the headrest and to also confirm that nothing's underneath the seat. When you've confirmed these items, tap Next. And the tablet communicates with the vehicle and the message displays that the calibration is successful. The next step is the sensitivity check to ensure that the seat calibration is correct. The industry uses a weight of 66 pounds as a sensitivity measure for the sensor as vehicle passenger airbags are configured not to deploy for children up to this weight sitting in the front passenger seat. So first the tablet's going to test the sensor without any weight on the seat. Then the next step is to place a 66 pound weight on the seat and check the sensor for accuracy. So then the tablet displays this message. Don't move the seat position, ensure nothing is on or underneath the seat, and to prepare a weight of 66 pounds. We'll tap next to move on. 
So we've tested the sensor without weight, and the tablet displays the message, the sensor reading should be between the higher limit and the lower limit when nothing is placed on the passenger seat. The higher limit is 0.97 pounds and the lower limit is negative 0.97 pounds. The sensor reading is negative 0.19, so that's good. And then we're prompted to place the 66 pounds on the seat and we're supposed to be emulating a passenger sitting here, so the weight is placed centered and back against the seat. The displays read the sensor's higher limit of 41.23 pounds and lower limit of 27.5 pounds. And the sensor's actual reading will display. And as I place each of the weights on the sensor, the reading changes in value. With all 66 pounds in place, the sensor's displayed value is 33.70 pounds, and that's right within our range. Let's tap next. The tablet completes the process and the message displays that the sensitivity check is complete. For more information about Autel tools and products, visit us at autel.com. Thanks for watching.